we're trying to introduce a new variant of the C-130 called the Sea Herc. The concept behind the Sea Herc is really a pull from our customers where they're telling us they have a requirement for maritime and border uh, security, patrol, all the way up from just looking at surveillance to prosecution of anti-submarine warfare. What we have done is taken the C-130J, extremely versatile platform, and we're using this platform to provide them maritime capabilities. We have added electronic countermeasures. We have added a forward-looking infrared radar. Underneath the belly, we have added a 360-degree radar for maritime surveillance and we've got the capability to add weapons should a customer desire that. So we don't have to give the full anti-submarine warfare capability. Many of our customers will simply want a maritime surveillance capability. So we have the ability to give them a, a tailored package specifically to their needs. The UK clearly has a need for maritime surveillance. Uh, their Nimrod program was canceled, however the requirement that was associated with that program was not canceled. And so the C-130J does provide them an opportunity. They currently fly the C-130J, so using roll-on, roll-off capabilities, they very easily could either have a long-term or an interim solution using the C-130J to meet their maritime requirement. I think that the key is that the Sea Hurt really showcases the flexibility of the C-130J platform. We have already seen this platform support weather reconnaissance, electronics reconnaissance. We know that it does airdrop, we know it does air land. This is just adding to that portfolio of missions that the C-130J is capable of doing.